Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm reviewing the new, uh, well, it's fairly new, late last year, uh, from Roma Craft Cigars. This is the Cro-Magnon Aquatine, and this particular size is the Cranium. Well, they sure get a lot of different names there. 6x54 Grand Toro. Suggested retail $8.25. There is your density. Now, this cigar was sent to me by Justin Lacey, Louisville, Kentucky. Justin keeps me up to date with a lot of newer cigars and uh, actually likes to review and sends me cigars to review. Has a nice feel in the hand. Um, this cigar uses an Ecuadorian Habano Lajero wrapper. Cameroon binder and the filler is from Nicaragua. Actually from three different regions of Nicaragua, Esteli, Condega, uh, and a new, a new small farm near the Honduran border called Pueblo Nuevo. Okay, so that's the long and the short of it. The blog will have a lot more information from the Romacraft site. But for now, let's get right to the new Romacraft Cro-Magnon Aquatine Cranium. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, this has a good feel in the hand. This could translate into a long uh, smoking time. Very good draw. I mean, I would call that effortless. For that feel in the hand and that draw, it is effortless. But it doesn't take long to get a lot of flavor up front. There's a very, very sweet boysenberry flavor. You can't mistake it. It's just very, very sweet. A uh, little dry wood notes there attached to it. And uh, that's the first flavors you get. Black pepper at about a seven and a half. It's pretty good. Close to an eight. Um, I want to let it settle down, but the first in your face flavor is going to be that very sweet boysenberry and a lot of dry wood. So uh, I fully expect it to change, but let's see where we go from here. All right, about an inch in and uh, continuing with that very, very sweet boysenberry, which my wife kids me about. Also got a lot of nice sweet cedar popping in there, but also the third flavor, which is really adding a lot of sweetness to it, is uh, white chocolate. Definitely that's what it tastes like to me, white chocolate. The pepper is still very good. The white chocolate also carries over to the finish, where normally you would say, that's just a sweet cream. I really think it's white chocolate. It's a, it's a finish of white chocolate. A lot of nice lingering black pepper on the finish also. Uh, at this point, the cigar is no more than medium body, but it's extremely sweet and flavorful. It's burning nicely, but uh, uh, can't underestimate the uh, or overstate even the sweetness of this cigar. It is very nice. I guess we're about two and a half inches in. The very sweet notes are still continuing. The boysenberry flavor is sort of toned down some, but the white chocolate and the sweet cedar are going full blast. Um, for those of you who are saying, what does boysenberry taste like? I'll tell you what it reminds me of. When we were small and went on vacation and what have you, you go into these restaurants at breakfast and they give you these little jelly packets where it's blackberry, blueberry, boysenberry. That's what it tastes like, one of those uh, boysenberry jelly things. That, so that's where I'm getting that flavor from. The um, cigar I would call medium to full body. You, it, it's a sneaky Lahiro, that Lahiro wrapper. Uh, I'm starting to feel it now. You can feel the Lahiro effects. The pepper is just as strong, if not more, than when we started. It is at an eight now. When you retrohale, it is, it is so intense. The finish is about the same. Still have that white chocolate, very sweet, and um, a decent amount of lingering black pepper. So, uh, oh, and I neglected this in the last segment, the dry wood notes are still there. That's sort of the base of the cigar. The lower flavor is a dry wood. So that's where we are. Very nice, very sweet. Um, 
I'm a fan of this cigar so far. It's very sweet and has all the components that I like and has a little bit of power. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. The flavors continued here to the end, just like they were in the last segment, all pretty much all throughout. Uh, the boysenberry flavors that I talked about did fade. I did get them here and there, but uh, by and large, you have your very sweet cedar and white chocolate with some dry wood notes. The pepper remained very good. Uh, it's very nice black pepper in this cigar at or around an 8 rating. Finish remained about the same. And the cigar is what I'll call a low-grade full-bodied. It is, it is full-bodied, but it's uh, not overpowering. But uh, give it a full-bodied rating, and uh, it's just on the lower end. Uh, the cigar burned very good, and we got a pretty good time out of it. This has been a very good cigar for me. Uh, I enjoyed it, and uh, appreciate Justin sending it to me. He sent me two, so it was a good, a good way to get a feel for this cigar. It, it basically had about everything I look for in a good cigar, and uh, don't really have anything negative to say. Some of those flavors on the front end, uh, particularly when the white chocolate entered it to put, entered into the picture, you get sort of buttery notes too. I didn't really say anything about it, but it's there. Uh, it's just a very creamy, buttery flavor to go along with that white chocolate. So uh, another plus, really, in my opinion. So all in all for me, I'm rating it a 93. I thought about going to 94, but it didn't have quite enough richness. And still, all in all, an excellent cigar. So there you have it, the Roma Craft Aquatine or Cro-Magnon Aquatine. Cranium, it's a mouthful, 93, and at a pretty decent price point. Look for them on shelves. <laughs>